All right, buckle up, because today we're diving into some seriously futuristic tech. Imagine uh, you're running late for work, but instead of stressing about traffic and to-do lists, mm -hmm. your AI assistant handles it all. It books you a ride, reschedules your morning meeting. Oh, wow. Even tells your smart coffee maker to brew a fresh pot. Sound too good to be true. Sounds pretty amazing. Well, it might be closer than you think, uh, thanks to Microsoft's new AI model called Magma. Yeah, Magma is really capturing everyone's attention. What's so interesting is that um, it isn't just another AI that excels at one specific task. Hmm. We're looking at something that can control both the digital world, like apps on your phone, and the physical world, like robots in a factory, or even potentially that coffee maker in your kitchen. We've got a stack of recent tech articles here that break down exactly how it all works. And let me tell you, it's pretty mind blowing. But before we get lost in the technical weeds, can you give us the big picture? What is magma and why is everyone so excited about it? Sure. At its core, magma is what's called a foundation model which means it's been trained on a massive amount of data. We're talking 39 million samples of images, videos, text, even robot movements. Wow. Think of it like giving an AI a crash course in pretty much everything. This allows Magma to adapt to all sorts of different tasks, unlike AI that's just programmed for one specific job. Okay, so it's like Magma is a jack of all trades in the AI world, but how does it actually manage to control both software and robots? These articles mention something called set of mark and trace of mark. It sounds a bit like a uh, secret agent code. Right. Well, those are actually the keys to how magma bridges the gap between the digital and physical worlds. Imagine you're scrolling through your social media feed. Magma uses set of mark or some to identify all the elements it can interact with, like buttons, links, or even the text box for writing a comment. It's basically magma understanding what it can see and click on within a digital environment. So if I ask Magma to like a friend's post, it uses Summon to find the like button and then click it. Exactly. Now the other technique, Trace of Mark, or Tom, is all about understanding how things change over time. Let's say you're watching a video tutorial on how to fold origami. Magma uses Tom to track the movements, essentially learning the cause and effect of each fold. This is crucial for controlling robots, which operate in a physical world where objects are constantly moving and interacting. So it's like, some mom lets magma see the digital world, and Tom lets it understand how things change within that world, both digitally and physically. Precisely. And when you combine those two, you get an AI that can not only understand what it's seeing, but also predict what will happen next and plan its actions accordingly. Okay, I'm starting to see why this is such a big deal. It's not just about AI understanding commands. It's about AI understanding the consequences of those commands in both the digital and physical realms. And that's what makes Magma so different from anything we've seen before. It's this unified perception and control that these articles keep highlighting. It's like teaching an AI to not only read a recipe, but also actually cook the meal. That's a great analogy. Before we dive into the potential culinary masterpieces that Magma might whip up, let's take a closer look at how this unified perception and control actually works in practice. For example, the articles mentioned Magna can learn by watching videos, just like humans do. How does that even work? Well, what's fascinating here is that Magma can process information from videos in a way that's very similar to how we learn. Think about how you'd learn a new dance move by watching a video. You observe the steps, you try to imitate them, you adjust based on what you see. Magma does the same thing, except it's processing information at a much faster rate and can apply those learnings to a wider range of tasks. So instead of painstakingly programming AI for each specific task, we can potentially just show it a video and let it figure it out. Yeah. That seems like it could be a game changer for how quickly AI develops. Exactly. And it's not just about speed. This approach could also lead to more robust and adaptable AI. Magma isn't just mimicking specific commands, it's learning the underlying principles, which allows it to improvise and solve problems in new and creative ways. Speaking of new and creative ways, these articles also mention that Microsoft is collaborating with universities and hospitals on Magma research. This feels like it's moving way beyond just a cool tech demo in a lab. It's true. We're seeing a really interesting trend of tech companies working with researchers in various fields to explore the potential applications of AI, like Magma. This collaboration is crucial because it brings together different perspectives and expertise, which can accelerate progress and lead to breakthroughs we might not have imagined otherwise. And it hints at the fact that Magna isn't just a futuristic fantasy, it's something that could have a real impact on our lives in the very near future. We're talking healthcare, manufacturing, maybe even that AI assistant that makes your morning coffee. 
But before we get too carried away with the possibilities, let's explore some real-world examples of what magma can actually do today. One of the most impressive examples is magma's ability to control robots in a warehouse setting. Imagine a robot that can pick and pack orders, navigate obstacles, and even learn new tasks on the fly by watching a human demonstration. That's incredible. It's like having a super efficient, always learning coworker who never takes a coffee break. But can you give us an example that hits closer to home? How could magma impact the everyday lives of our listeners? Hmm. Think about how many apps and devices you interact with on a daily basis. Magma has the potential to streamline all of that, acting as a central hub for managing your digital life. Imagine saying, Magma, book me a flight to Hawaii, and it not only finds the best deals, but also syncs the trip to your calendar, books your hotel, and even suggests some must-see attractions based on your interests. That's taking personal assistant to a whole new level. But I know some people might be thinking, hold on, isn't this getting a bit too sci-fi? Are we really on the verge of having AI handle every aspect of our lives? Right. It's important to remember that Magma, while incredibly advanced, is still in its early stages of development. We're not talking about sentient robots taking over the world, but rather tools that can augment our capabilities and free us from tedious or repetitive tasks. So no robot butlers serving us Mai Tais on that Hawaiian beach just yet? Not quite. But the potential impact of this technology is undeniably huge. We're already seeing glimpses of how AI can transform industries like healthcare, finance, and even entertainment. Well, since we can't all jet off to Hawaii just yet, let's ground this conversation back in reality a bit. The articles also touch on how magma might impact the workplace, which is something a lot of people are thinking about these days. It's true that as AI systems like magma become more sophisticated, they will undoubtedly change the nature of work. Certain tasks that are currently done by humans, especially those involving repetitive actions or data processing, will likely be automated. But uh, it's not a simple equation of robots replacing humans. So it's not necessarily about taking jobs, but about changing the types of jobs that are available. Exactly. We're likely to see a shift towards roles that require creativity, critical thinking, and um, complex problem solving. Skills that are uniquely human and difficult to replicate in AI. Think of it as AI taking care of the routine tasks so that humans can focus on the things that require ingenuity and innovation. Okay, so maybe instead of fearing a robot takeover, we should be thinking about how we can adapt and evolve alongside these advancements. It's like that saying, the only constant is change. That's a great point. It's not about resisting change, but about understanding it and harnessing its potential to create a better future. And that's where magma comes in, by automating tasks and freeing up human time and energy. It could potentially unlock new levels of productivity, creativity, and even personal fulfillment. It's like that whole idea of working smarter, not harder. But on a much grander scale, okay. instead of being bogged down by the minutiae, we could be focusing on solving big problems, innovating new solutions, and pursuing our passions. That's the optimistic vision, and I think it's a vision worth striving for. But of course, with any new technology, there are challenges and potential pitfalls we need to be aware of. For example, how do we ensure that the benefits of AI are distributed fairly and don't exacerbate existing inequalities? How do we protect privacy and security in a world where AI is increasingly integrated into our lives? These are big questions. And honestly, they can feel a bit overwhelming. But I think it's important to remember that we, as a society, have faced technological disruptions before. And we've always found ways to adapt and evolve. That's where the conversation needs to shift from what is AI going to do to us mm -hmm. to how can we shape the future of AI in a way that benefits everyone? And that's a conversation that needs to involve everyone, not just tech experts and policymakers, but everyday people whose lives will be impacted by these technologies. So it's about taking an active role in shaping the future rather than just passively observing it unfold. It's about being informed, asking critical questions, and engaging in thoughtful discussions about the kind of world we want to create with AI. Exactly. It's not about predicting the future with certainty, but about understanding the possibilities and making informed choices that steer us towards a future that is both technologically advanced and human-centered. I love that idea. A future that's both technologically advanced and human-centered. It's not about replacing humans with robots, but about using technology to augment our capabilities and create a world where we can all thrive. But how do we actually get there? What are some concrete steps individuals can take to ensure they're not just swept up in the tide of technological change, but are actively shaping it? One of the most important things you can do is simply stay informed. Keep up with the latest developments in AI. 
not just the flashy headlines, but the deeper discussions about its potential impact. Read articles, listen to podcasts like this one, attend talks and conferences, and engage with experts in the field. The more you understand about AI, the better equipped you'll be to navigate its complexities and make informed decisions about its role in your life. It's like that old saying, knowledge is power. But it's not just about passive consumption of information. We also need to be actively engaging with these issues, right? It's inspiring to think that we're not just passengers on this technological journey, but active navigators charting the course. It all starts with awareness and engagement. As we wrap up our deep dive into the world of magma, what are some key takeaways you hope our listeners will walk away with? Well, I think the biggest takeaway is that magma is a powerful example of how AI is evolving, moving beyond just isolated tasks into a realm of integrated capabilities that can impact both the digital and physical worlds. Uh, this has the potential to reshape industries, redefine jobs, and even change the way we interact with the technology on a daily basis. It's a lot to process. We've covered so much ground from the technical nuts and bolts of how magma works to the broader implications for the future of work and society as a whole. As we sign off, what's one final thought you'd like to leave our listeners with? Hmm, I'd encourage everyone to uh, embrace curiosity. Don't be afraid to explore these topics further. Ask tough questions and form your own opinions. The future of AI is still being written. Mm -hmm. and it's a story we can all contribute to. Well said. This has been an incredible journey into the world of magma and the future of AI. We hope you found it insightful and engaging. Until next time. Keep exploring and keep on diving.